Hey guys, Mike here, and this is your weekly Xbox News. Bethesda released Into the Starfield Episode 3, and this was all about the music in Starfield. In the video, Mark Lampart and Inan Zer talk about their inspirations for the music in Starfield and how the player's experience will be affected. There were a few details, but it is interesting to get an idea of how a developer handles music in the game and how they use it to tell the story or create a unique experience for the player. In their recent quarterly earnings, Microsoft released some details about how the Xbox platform is doing. It was the biggest non-holiday quarter and they were the top selling next-gen console in the US, Canada, UK, and Western Europe. There was a 45% increase in hours played thanks to Game Pass, and Xbox Cloud has seen 10 million Game Pass users try the service. Once Xbox gets its first party machine pumping out exclusives and if the Activision Blizzard deal closes, these numbers could improve significantly. Super Mega Team has announced the Night Witch is coming to Xbox One and Xbox Series consoles. In the Night Witch, you play as a witch called Rane, and you must save an underground city called Dungeon Nidus from a mysterious evil force. This is a Metroidvania game, and there are several different options to play. You can upgrade your knight abilities for a more fast-paced shooter experience, or you can use witch magic and use deck building that has over 30 different spells. Rane gets her power from the citizens of Dungeon Nidus from their love and admiration for her. You can choose to lie to them to make the citizens happy or be honest with them. The developer states that accessibility is a big part of the game, allowing you to use auto-aim feature or, and I quote, world-altering cheats and a story navigation system so players never get lost. We don't have a specific release date aside from 2022. Microsoft announced their Xbox and Bethesda showcase for June 12th at 12 p.m. Pacific time. This is a very exciting time of the year for us gamers. Of course, everyone is going to want to see Starfield as it's the first original game from Bethesda Studios in a long time. In fact, the marketing image for this reveal is the Xbox logo and the backdrop looks like it's in space. This leads me to my forum post of the week by Relo K, which is about the announcement. Aside from Starfield and hopefully Forza Motorsport, I'm hoping to see some neat reveals for the show. We have been hearing lots of rumors about a Mandalorian game being in development, so it would be cool to get some confirmation on that. I would love to see Avowed get its gameplay reveal as well. I love high fantasy RPGs and want more. I doubt we are going to see Perfect Dark this year, although it would be cool to get a character reveal of Joanna Dark. Some on our forums are looking forward to some Japanese RPG announcements, which would be really cool. So what are you guys looking forward to? Are there any games that have been rumored you want to see at the show? What are you hoping to see from Starfield? Let us know your thoughts. I will post a link to the thread below. Okay guys, that is all for me today. If you want to hear more from me, you can follow me on Twitter at FalconXLive or on Twitch at FalconXLive. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hear more from Xbox Era, click that subscribe button. Take care and I will see you soon.